Emerson. Good morning, Avery. Good morning, Coel. Today is Wednesday, December 19th. It is a day six. Our Emerson Excellence focus this week is practice noticing red and blue zone feelings in ourselves and in others. You know how last week we looked at those pictures? I think that helped me to see ways the body reacts to the feelings we are having inside. Could we do it again with this week's focus feelings? You bet. I happen to have a few pictures just lying around. Let's sort these to start. You know, for me, I am able to recognize feelings in myself, but in others it tends to be more difficult. Do you know of a way to help identify feelings in others? I remember we learned that sometimes we can tell how people are feeling by looking at their faces. Let's practice with some faces. How do you think this person is feeling? Let's remember to look for visual clues to see how these people are feeling. Even though we don't know much about them, let's try to put ourselves in their shoes. That is being empathetic. While she is looking down, avoiding eye contact, and kind of has a sad look on her face. Maybe she is lonely. I would say this person is in the blue zone. I would agree. Same thing. Or Wait. That one up. Right. right, how about this one? Same thing. He looks sad too. Even in cartoons, you can recognize how they are feeling by their body language and facial expressions. This boy's eyes are looking down. His lips are frowning. The way he is trying to shrink into a ball is also a good indicator that he may be in the blue zone. Correct, Mondo. The next picture may be a little easy to identify what zone it is in. But I'm wondering what I should do when I see someone that looks like this. That is a good question. Yes, I would think he is in the red zone because of his physical stance. He looks ready to fight. His eyebrows are narrowed, his eyes are squinting, and his mouth is tightened. I am wondering, what do you do when I, when I see someone who looks like this? Do you have any suggestions? I would definitely get some adult to help. They are trained to help students who are displaying these types of emotions. We as students are not. Leave it to the professionals. Thanks. Good advice. Lastly, we have one more picture to sort into the correct zone. Do you suppose it may be another red zone? Why would you think that? Well, because last week we had a two for each zone, and today we already have two in blue. I would guess it is a red zone without even seeing the picture. Well, what if I showed you this picture? It is going to be hard to look at their facial expe expressions, but try your best. I was right. I feel like these two may have been arguing, kind of like that NFL coach was with the referees last night. They are not respecting each other's space. They appear to be yelling and using some hand gestures. I would say red. Again, this looks like way too much for a kid to handle. That is why no matter what, who you see arguing like this, remember to get an adult to help out. Let's talk about lunch. For lunch, we are having choice one, French toast sticks, choice two, turkey sub, choice three, yogurt and string cheese. Remember, a way to be kind is to use your manners in the lunchroom. And now an important announcement from Mr. Overweiser. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday to you all. A couple of congratulations. First of all, we have 200 Eagle Feathers in Miss Jorstad's class. Congratulations, third grade friends. And lastly, we have 200 Eagle Feathers to, again, third grade, Miss Ryan's Superstars. So congratulations, everyone. Keep up the great work. Girls, back to you. Thanks. How about the birthdays, Coel? Yep, a happy birthday to Emma in fifth grade and also Orion in fifth grade. Any half birthdays? Yep, a half birthday to Nevaeh in first grade. Remember to be respectful, respectful responsible, and safe too. And, and make Emerson, Emerson an excellent place to be. Now please stand, stand for the pledge. pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remember, it is a great day to be kind.